Hi guys, how are you all doing? Today we are at our friend's house and we're gonna be taking care of their chicks and we're gonna be touring their garden. So this is a pretty young garden but they have several varieties of fruit trees and veggie. So you can see this one is a beautiful mango tree. I'm not sure about the variety but uh, you can see it's a beautifully shaped, beautiful tree and plenty of blossoms. So probably they're gonna have a lot of mangoes this year. It all goes well. So you can see there is an avocado seedling. Supposedly it was sold to him as a mango. But this, this is definitely an avocado tree. And uh, you can see some pineapple growing here, pepper, onion, strawberry, more tomatoes. Look at that, those red tomatoes. They are so inviting. They are like bite me. You can see the beans and uh, they're doing it smart because you can see the, they don't have to weed a whole lot, looks like. And uh, this one is a citrus tree. Oh, so I'm gonna have to smell it. Oh, I love the smell of citrus. One of my favorite. You can see lemongrass. And actually they were uh, giving me a, a nice lemongrass because mine just from one year to the other just died. So you can see jackfruit seedling. This, this is probably about... Um, less than a year old, my guess. And uh, you can see sugarcane on in the corner. There is another mango. I don't know the variety, let me see. Maybe a Hayden? Yes, it's a Hayden mango. It's a typical Florida mango, beautifully colored, and it's a good, good mango. So yeah, you can see the loofah for a second. I thought that it was a cucumber because mine is ridged loofah. This one is uh, looks like the regular loofah. And uh, this is the one that you can uh, use it in your when you shower just to clean your dead skin cells and all that. That's a pretty cool plant to have. And also I believe you can uh, consume it while it's uh, young as a vegetable. And there is more citrus. Oh, it smells so good. I love citrus. And there is some um, eggplant uh, growing over there. there. There is gonna be a lot of papayas this year probably for them from these guys. And the dragon fruit, you can see that they started to grow them on this. Um, this is what they use for jellies or toast, yeah. He said what he did around this one is every year he tills around it with a tiller and it's supposed to help the roots and fights against the nematodes because it stops them from being root bound because it cuts the roots and makes them grow again. That's why that tree looks so good. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a great point. Hmm, very interesting. Is this a moringa? Looks to me as a moringa, huh? Yeah, it's a moringa tree. These are also younger moringa, moringa trees. And you can see he cut it back all the way, but it, it bounces back, it comes back stronger. That That's also a very cute little tree, almost like a bush, mango bush. Another papaya. You can see that the coal definitely did a number on the guava here. And not sure about this variety. You can see there is another mango tree over there and uh, they have a couple of good size mango trees, pretty mature. Now I know that one is the stringy little one. Oh yes, this, this one got the strings. I don't mind the strings, you see. Some people doesn't like it when it gets between their teeth, almost like a floss, but it stays there. I don't mind it, honestly, I, don't, I love mangoes either way. So sometimes I actually enjoy it more and uh, oh i like this uh, bougainvillea it kind of gets like the 
pinkish white is uh, it's nice bougainvillea am i gonna add some to a cafe look at it's pretty color i like it beautiful i love bougainvilleas i see they get rid of the crown lilies uh they they might grow to be and uh, they take over everything now you can see the ciruela full of flowers you can see it all over and, and this one oh yes what is this this is sour, sour sap oh yes it's a sour sap 2020 so he just got this sour sap they just got this sour sap so but you can see it's definitely growing back so uh, yes, it lost all its leaves, but it's growing back. There is another ejectment over there. Might be just a bit older than the other, or this one get more water. And that's why it's growing better. Oh, and then they have the veggies. You can wait the veggies. You can see. Oh, now it's flowering, so... She can see all the seeds. Um, yeah. This is the broccoli. The peanuts. Meat. These are, I believe, peanuts. Let me see. <gasps> peanuts! Look at that! <laughs> that is super cool, you guys. I love it. I should definitely plant some peanuts. Look, it's not done yet, but uh, yeah. Look at how nice. Ah. <laughs> Look at the cabbages. They're getting very nice, actually. That's a nice little head of cabbage. More um, legume coming up. And um, potatoes, right? Looks like. Uh, onions. Garlic. She's doing great, honestly. She's just having so much, so many kinds of peas and all sorts of veggies. That's pretty cool. And this is all peanuts. They probably love peanuts. <laughs> nice uh, bougainvillea also. I love bougainvilleas, but, but they are uh, kind of mean. They are thorny. But I love the look of it though. Oh, look at the beautiful knot. These are uh, a lot of happier looking veggies. Look at the squash. Oh, nice. Uh, the potato. Uh, this is, looks like a bok choy. Sweet potato. Oh, look at the bok choy. Oh, these are, and you can see why they are looking like this because there is a water source. So they can be like happy like this. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Am I gonna ask her for some seeds from the back? Door? And this one is it the peanut butter? Fruit? What is this? Yeah, peanut butter fruit. Now, uh, this one, uh, from my experience in our area, zone 9b, or almost year round fruits, flowers, and fruits. It's a very productive tree, I think. Oh yes, there is a little seedlings world <laughs> and bottle brush for the pollinators. Um, might be a mummy supporter. Uh, an avocado. Oh, these are the Anona Sasmaniae. Super um, rare, very, very expensive. Uh, ever bearing mulberry looks like that might be uh, no wink he might be actually a yellow dragon fruit from seed um that's what i would plan but you know to each to all um there is a lot of mango seedlings they all looking pretty healthy to me look at the eggplant it's like a white one white eggplant and uh, these are also the anona sasmaniae they look pretty good actually he's taking a very good care of them 
This is a lychee that I air layered and it's already flowering. Beautiful. This one is a passion vine. So passion fruit vines. I'm not exactly sure what variety he got. Which one is this? Is it passion uh purple pot? That's a very sweet variety. It's a very nice uh, star fruit, a pretty young one, uh, more uh, jackfruit over there, papaya. This is from Echo, it looks like. Baby papaya. Uh, no new. Then mango. Let's see which variety is this mango. Do you see it by any chance? Mm -mm. No, not exactly sure of the variety of this one, but um, he swears by uh, planting bananas by their younger trees. And the reason what I heard, what he was saying, that um, they all look at how beautiful they're green. <sighs> Can you see it? <sighs> but anyways, um, he believes that it would help at first, th this one, because it gives a little bit of shade, I believe. And um, later on, you know, the banana is just one of those things that when it finally bears and after that, you can chop it out. So he will cut it out, but for now, it, it, it would definitely shelter it better. There is another papaya. Looks like a custard apple to me. A caimito. Hippolito. I got the same caimito. Mine doesn't look uh, this good though. And you can see another star here. And uh, nothing pretty sure where he got it. He might got it from probably a good variety from there and this one um, looks to me as an egg, egg fruit plant, egg fruit tree parcel canister yes it's a canister trample and this one looks to me as a kainito the probably the purple variety no, I was wrong. Hippolito Kainito. So it's the same variety, but you know what? This is completely looks different from the other Kainito. So this might be actually the purple variety because the leaves look different. They get more leaves. And oh, the star fruit. Oh, look at that. Look at how cool is this. Ooh, I didn't want to do that, but... <laughs> If it falls off, oh, it's fair game. No. They want to drop into my mouth, so let's give it a try. Mm. I love star fruit. It's really good. Very crunchy. This one is um, refreshing, not on a very sweet side, but it's um, it gets some sweetness. It's good. Some bad from, from Echo Cano, excuse me, Canapaha 45 inches in height and 1.5 inches combs, straight growth, good density, attractive combs. So it's gonna grow pretty, pretty big, looks like, or sounds like actually. And get some coconut. A very young one, but we also set up bubbler. Okay, this is another kaimito. So he, they must love kaimitos a lot. My, this might be a different variety though, from the one that we saw. And let's see what is in here. Okay, there's a coconut. It's a baby coconut. 
and this one is a Pakistani mulberry and this one is a nice long mulberry that's a good good variety actually and there is an avocado looks to me as a seedling and a banana not sure what variety it's either a namwa or a plantain we gave it to him oh okay then might be a namwa might might be a namwa it's gonna grow a lot thicker. this one and that one which we gave him okay then then my this might be the plantain i guess then might be this is the plantain or yeah that's another mango, uh, mango here mm. this is a philippine mango probably a good variety i never tasted that one probably yeah yeah and this one looks like the dwarf nyamba probably and this one is pink pamelo very nice i love pamelo this one looks like manzano apple banana possibly young and this is also another philippine mango so the story behind this one is he cut the top of it yes. so it'll grow and it never grew so he had to buy a new one really <laughs> so he had to buy that one. Oh, so this one never pushed out yeah. maybe the maybe it's pushing it i you know what I, to me it looks like it's pushing to a couple of places actually if you want to come closer so they have a chance that this one is pushing here mm -hmm. and here in the axle and here also so hopefully it's gonna push through Okay, uh, we are seeing another kaimito, so there is going to be a lot of kaimito growing here. I think he said this is the green one. Uh, I thought that the hippolito was the green one, I, I'm not okay. but not exactly sure. So this is another mulberry. Ooh, look at the leaves. This is the Shangri-La. Oh my gosh, look at those leaves, huge. So this one is the shang so any idea what is the difference it has really big leaves <laughs> well hopefully the fruit size matches up with the leaves maybe <laughs> he's doing a air layer uh, <laughs> pretty cool so this one is the ever bearing mulberry looks like and uh, there is a good couple of monstera over there uh, here is the so there is, uh, it's a little windy, so I hope you guys can be able to be um, This is another strawberry. The biggest hill in Florida, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but yeah, we are pretty flat here. Okay, so this is the long end. Actually, this is the long end. You can see it's a tiny fruit tree, and look at it. It's pushing flowers out. Uh, this might be the view. Cue. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, it's the view cube. So just so you know, I did not see. Like I'm not looking at beforehand, and I'm telling. But looking at the leaves, it's different from my kuhala long and variety. So that's why I was like, okay, if it's not a kuhala, most of the time the nursery has the view cube. Probably I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's not the kuhala. <laughs> and um, this one is the yellow mandan okay it doesn't look very great actually but uh, if it's not gonna come back i can give you some just so you know uh i have that variety and i really like actually the yellow one i really like it because the yellow one to me i don't know if it's just mental but it reminds me to uh africa the, the flavor so this one oh i love this one 
I didn't get this variety. It's a amo amo nails amo amoenus bamboo amo. Can you uh, see it? So just so because my uh, dendro calamus minor amo nails. Uh, 15 inches in height, three four inches comes open erect comes dark green leaves. I love bamboos. Honestly, if we would have the land, I would plant all kinds of bamboos and uh, more kinds of fruit trees. <laughs> this one, you know, I believe, it's an everbearing. It looks pretty small leaves, so, and uh, normally also the everbearing, nice little flowers. Um, the fruits are kind of tiny too. Might be everbearing, but you don't get big fruits. So. And this one is a guava. You can see uh, flower buds are forming. There is a flower already open, so probably they can expect fruits. The guava is fruiting year round, so it's a nice one to have. The only one thing that we have to keep in mind is the worms. I normally bag it up, put it in a um, bag, so that way I can actually enjoy it Or if you wait too long, then it <laughs> doesn't even matter because those worms getting it. So it's, he got the same variety, the view Q, uh, name of Carpus longer. Sugar Bell, Angelo, very nice. Mega, very sweet with some tartness. That's my kind of fruit. I love a little tart with this. I like the balance. Oh, look at this one, it's already flowering. Very nice. Clementine. I like that too. So let's see, we have a couple of more trees. The uh, Barbados cherry. Very nice. Uh, looking looking nice and uh, I gave them as a Barbados cherry I thought it was a seedling but I'm not sure anymore because now the leaves are looking a lot longer than that one so I'm not sure what is this exactly right now uh, this is another Barbados cherry and so it, they are looking pretty good. You can see the little jabuticaba. Looks like a sabara, probably. Sabara variety. There's a tag. And I get a little bit of what is that? So there's a tag. Uh probably they only put like sabara. I think they only put jabuticaba. Oh, oh jabuticaba, sorry. Jabuticaba. Yes. Sorry um, and what you can see here is the sapodilla, ox cuts cub, <laughs> maniocara zapota. It's a large fruit. Um, there is some fruit, some more banana with the mango, some cranberry hibiscus, and an a bee. I see that um, he's got a little. Um, butter too, but uh, it's still doing all right. A banana, gold finger, gold finger banana. Okay, lemon meringue. Oh yeah, lemon meringue. I never tried lemon meringue mango. I have a tree and I cannot wait to try it. And this is the gold finger banana. So sounds to me like a, a good variety. That's a sugar apple over there. It looks a little uh, out of it, but it's coming. It's gonna come back. Yeah, this is yeah the sugar and the miracle there, miracle fruit. And in a couple of years, so this is the yellow one. So in a couple of years, it's gonna be like so. Everything's so big, I think. This is a lemon drop mango steam. Very nice. But, I mean, everything looking good. There is so many trees here, you guys. It, it doesn't show yet very much because they are small. But, oh, look at the beach. Very nice. 
Look at the beautiful flowers. And this one's so beautiful. Look at that. It looks to me as a Rolinia, possibly. Oh, well, the yeah. Rolinia. Oh no, I didn't see it. <laughs> From here, I couldn't see it. Uh, what is the beet sugar apple? Another Rolinia. Uh, this one. It looks to me uh, like a lychee slash winnie. I can tell. Uh, I don't know. His tree is growing differently. I think it's they are happy, very, very happy. I'm not exactly sure about this one either. Uh, this is a Suriname cherry, I think. Mm -hmm. How do you know? He told me. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is an ever bearing mulberry. Looks to me uh, possible. Hmm. It's a canister or um, but it looks like a sweet like a tree sweet potato kind of or um, it looks like a seedling mango sugar apple. That might be the sugar apple, the red one that I gave um, at that time. That oh, white sapote. Ponciera. Uh, oh, yeah, Ponciera. And what is this? Do you know? A bee? That's not a bee. That's definitely not a bee. This one, I'm sorry, but this is not a bee. Okay, uh, this one. Looks like a citrus. I have no idea what kind of citrus. I'm not sure what kind of citrus. This is a um, beach sugar apple. And known as Sasmani. And um, looks to me that he doesn't want to pot it up. He just pot it up. So probably he will have to water these a lot because they're gonna dry out faster because they are huge. This is an unknown as uh, This one, um, it looks like, it looks to me as a um, did you hear something? Oh, rooster. Okay. Um, uh, so this one, you know the What's the name? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Shoot. We'll put it down below. Yeah, I will. But uh, you know the... I have one uh, pante. Mamei sapote. Might be a mamei sapote, this one from seedling. Or canister. Might be a canister. This one, a uh, Eugenia. Grumichama. That to me more, looks more like a sapodilla that one the one that it was tagged as uh, something else uh, what is this goji berry oh mm. nice, nice. Um, another ever bearing a jackfruit ns1 i don't know ns1 probably a good one and uh, another sapodilla Sapodilla Tika, probably it's a really good one too. To have. There is a tamarind, probably a sweet tamarind. And another citrus. Key lime. Key lime. And sugar loaf mango, also with the banana. There is an avocado, and that's a grafted avocado because it's flower and water and it's small. That's a Simmons avocado. That's I like it. I like a Simmons a lot. And this is an ice cream bean. And you can see there is one, two, three. It's an Inga Agilis. It's a really good uh, nitrogen fixer too. It's a really good one to have. But you know, they grow humongous, so you will always have to cut it back or just let it grow. 
and uh, it will create a great canopy. Uh, this is an Atachai group. Uh, this is it. Honey kiss, Achacha honey kiss. So yeah, he had he got it for like less than twenty five dollars. That's pretty good. Uh, I think he got it from um, Ace Hardware. Sometimes you guys, sometimes you can find nice trees. I mean, sometimes even for ten dollars. And that one is a strawberry tree, Jamaican cherry. It's a small yet, but in a couple of months it will. It will not just double, triple, and goes up ten times bigger than it is right now. This one looks to me as a um, uh, not macadamia, art in paper shell. This is a really good one because this this one didn't get the really heavy duty shells that you need actually an open that you need the machine to open. So this is the paper shell. So that's a good one. So yeah, this is a key lime, you said? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Wanna see the chickens? Yes. This is the first time that they're gonna see chickens. baby chicks. Ready? <laughs> Ready? <gasps> Go! probably at 10A, more like uh, 9B because they are closer to the city. So this is it. It's a young, a very young food forest in the process and in a couple of years I hope I can come back and to show you guys how much it will change. So if you guys would like to see regular updates of this uh, beautiful garden, I will make sure I link her channel down below at the comment section so you can check her channel out as well and you can and she always gonna keep updates and so you can see it all and I will make sure that if all goes well I will also come back in maybe a half a year or so and you can see what changed it can change many things can change in a half a year so with that said, I hope you enjoy this little tour and I hope it gives you some encouragement to start to plant and I will see you guys later and have a great day. Bye!